Hello everyone. Hope everyone's having a great Friday. It's almost Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Got someone here that wants to say hi. You gonna say hi? Say hi. Say hello everyone. Tell them hi. Say hello. Can't hear you. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> okay, Granny's got to get to the video, baby. A little pride and joy there. I ain't seen her in a while. She spent the night with me. But uh, I wanted to come on here and show y'all how I've done these crosses. Well, I've done them crosses, roses, owls with toilet paper. I had an owl already done, which I'm not going to do one of these. I'm just going to show y'all the mold because this is a deep mold and it does take a while. I wish I could have found the one I had made. But uh, I got these molds. Hobby Lobby. Real pretty white owl. And of course it's white when I got done with it because I didn't paint it. But this is a cross. It's pretty much dry. I can hold it up. And this is made with nothing but toilet paper and water. Here's the cross mold that I use. It's also from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I've also made a bunch of roses. I thought I had a video up of doing this, but I couldn't find it. If I do, I guess there'll be another one. But uh had someone asking to explain this. I figured the best way to explain it would be to, to a video. All you need is a cup of water, some cheap toilet paper. The cheaper the better because it breaks down in water quicker. Another easy way to do this is if you have a blender, you can put toilet paper, newspaper, I mean, if you're going to plant, paint whatever you're making, newspaper would be fine. Just tear it up in a shreds, put it in your blender, and blend it up. Drain the water out of it. Uh, this toilet paper here is 68 cents for four rows at Walmart. And, like I said, the cheaper the better because it breaks down. All you got to do is set and tear you up some pieces. Start dropping them in the water. Just start packing them in there is all you got to do. This cross does take quite a bit. I probably should have just done a couple flowers and instead of doing this. I've got me a clean dry rag ready to soak up the water when I get done with this. What, sweetheart? Okay. This does take a little bit of time, especially doing these big molds. I usually tear my paper up a little bit smaller, but just showing y'all how I did that one, which I've had that one there made for a while. Just decided to finish it. I didn't know how well the triple thick would work. Some people, when they do this, they do it and put glue, put their paper in glue, but I don't want glue in my mold, so I'm just using water and toilet paper. <laughs> of course, when I get on here, my granddaughter's got to go to the bathroom. She's drunk about two big bottles of tea so she's going pretty much non-stop she's 
she usually wants to get on here and say hello to everyone, but why try to pack some of my paper out? She's been a little shy, not wanting to talk. Get a little bit more water out so I have room to do more of my paper. Yeah, this this works really, really well if you have a, which I have a blender, but it's out in my building. I think I could probably start packing this, just laying it in there because I've got a lot of water in here. I will do a couple roses. If not, I'll pull some out I've got right over here next to me that I've done done. I have tried this with other types of paper. It doesn't work well, so I just use the cheap toilet paper that breaks down easy. doing the roses it don't take long at all because the mold's not very big this here's a deep mold so it's probably around a quarter inch or maybe a little bit deeper have a lot of water in there so I don't think I need any more I think I'm about to get to where I can start getting the water out of this on your back side it doesn't really matter just keep pressing it down in there getting tight you want it packed as tight as you can get it that way it'll hold its shape I think the video that I done on this is something that I just posted when I done it and at the time I wasn't doing YouTube videos. That's the only thing I can figure out, but is the reason why I can't find the video. Or I'm just overlooking it. But anyhow, we will do another one. If this was put into a blender and in a mulch and mulched it up, you could just pour your mulch in there. And now I'm going to see if I can start patting this dry. No need in using a paper towel to pat this dry when you can use a clean rag, but that's really up to you. And I really don't have enough paper in my mold. Just going to put that in there across there and work it down. This, these bigger ones, bigger ones is what takes the time. Now that owl, it really took me a while. I wished I could could have found the one I had done. It's so pretty and snow white. I think I'm going to try and get this dried out 
document what I've got there. Since I don't have it, even with the back of the mold, I'm going to have to get down in here and pat this dry. You have to get it, get the water out of it or it won't hold its shape. And I can't hold it enough. What you doing in there, pretty girl? Just playing. The toilet paper that you get from Dollar Tree is a good toilet paper to use also, which I think that's what I used on my other cross because this has a little bit of a, I want to say a grayish look to it. And that there was white, stayed white. This is white, but it's not staying white. And I'm hoping I can get this, since I didn't fill the mold up all the way, I'm hoping I can get this out of here. I think I've got it pretty dry. Right here, press my... See if I can pop my mold out now. Come on out of there. to turn loose there we go now yeah, I'm going to find something to pick this up with since it's wet probably not the best thing to grab it with but there's the one I just done which it did need some more paper in it hope y'all can see that you do need to go around and little pieces of toilet paper that's sticking up just pat them down Set this aside and let it dry. This kind of looks like stone. I'm going to lay it right there where y'all can see it a little better. There it is. But you can see I've got some small pieces here that all I'm going to do is come in and take my fingernails do this while it's still damp and press all these little pieces down this one didn't turn out as thick as my other one but that there took enough time so I'm gonna lay this aside I have this rose mold here that I've also done some of these aren't hard at all doesn't take long I'll just make a small one all you gotta do is get your toilet paper smashed down in there really need to be using the smaller pieces much to do these at all of course when you get to the bottom it doesn't matter because that's not where your shapes at your shapes in the mold then we'll pat that dry get my toilet paper back inside the mold
And of course, when you press on that, it's going to push your toilet paper out a little bit. You just got to keep pressing. Now I've got that one pretty much. These pop out easy. And there's a... Pretty rose. Now I've got some over here in a bowl. Some of them I put food coloring in when I've um, done them. This is one that I've done that I put food coloring in the toilet paper. or in, Yeah. In the toilet. Oh, goodness. In the water. I colored the water. And then just dip the toilet paper in the colored water. And that's how it turned out. These turn out pretty because the top of your rose turns out to be darker than the rest of it. I think that looks pretty. And don't, don't try the colored napkins because let me tell you that stuff just busts. This. There's a pretty white one that I've done. But this is one I've done with a colored napkin. It looks okay but it's cracked and bust. It's busted. This is one I've done. I painted with finger polish afterwards. And here's one that's pretty, painted with fingernail polish. But, uh, I guess that will be it for this video. If y'all haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. I'm going to give a shout out to Happy Bird for mentioning my name and my channel. It's got me some new subscribers. Um... really appreciate her for that she's a wonderful lady her youtube channel channel is climbing and i'm so happy for her and uh i guess that will be it and i shall see y'all in the next video y'all have a blessed day Bye bye